Hello, I'm Robin Dewsbury. I'm the founder of iMags and today I'm going to show you how to create a simple content application which is installable on any phone and then I'm going to download it and install it onto an iPhone without using iTunes and without waiting two weeks. Okay. First of all go to iMags.com on your PC and then register and then log in and then um, just click create Think of a, a name for your magazine and a description and um, then you have to say what type of content it is and in this case it's going to be private content and I agree uh, to, uh, to the terms and conditions. Basically I own the, this content. And now we get a page up on where we can put in the, uh, in the stories. We can have up to 10 pages of pictures and text. Uh, and I've already actually prepared some pages. And I've called them uh, day one, day two, etc. And I'm going to send them to the site. And here goes the first one. And you can see when we go back, now we see um, here is the pictures I sent. Notice what I've done here is I've put several pictures in a ribbon on top of one another. So it actually makes quite a good sight when it's seen on a phone. So here we are now. I've actually managed to put in all the content uh, for all the days uh, and I've named them. Now at the bottom we've actually got some spare stories, story 8, story 9 and story, story 10. Don't worry about these, these are just blank and as we publish now they'll disappear. And now we're publishing the magazine and here it is. And notice it's marked as private content uh, because that's uh, it's going to be only allowed for certain people to download. <clears throat> okay, now let's install it on the iPhone. OK, now let's go to the browser on the iPod and you may have noticed a number that I put that w appeared on the screen as I published it, it was 9519 this is the unique number for the iMag so we go to iMag slash 9519 and it will load up and here it is loading and here you can see the uh, content we put in we can uh, navigate around it but most importantly we can install it so we click install and follow the instructions which says press this button here add to home screen and add now this is now going to place an icon on my desktop now I click on it and I'm running the application in full screen mode it's not the browser running anymore and it's going to load up and notice in the top right hand corner it says online uh, in a moment that will go to installing or and eventually installed and again we can navigate the content as it's installing now it says installing here and the little eye is flashing and in a few moments it will say installed so now it says installed in the top right hand corner and what we can do is um, if we go back to settings and turn off uh, the wireless LAN on this iPod I can actually show you that it is installed locally on the device so now go back again and wait for it to load again now this time it's not have gone online it says offline at the top and it's loading the content locally and as you can see it's all there and that's it so I think that was quite simple so I encourage everyone to try it